Hello everyone and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Megan Zinn and I work in the reputation and brand management department of Fanshawe College. I will be your host for today's session. Um, Jackie, can we go to slide two, please? Do we have the housekeeping slide? If not, that's okay. Perfect. Uh, so before we begin today's session, I would like to review a few housekeeping items. Audience webcams and mics are turned off for the session. If you have any questions throughout the session, please submit it with the questions feature. To open the questions feature, click on the question mark. Following the session, we will have a live Q&A from the questions submitted. We will try our best to get through all of your submitted questions within the session time. If you have any questions after the session, we recommend you email myfuture at fanshawc.ca or book an appointment with one of our Fanshawe College recruiters. If you have multiple programs open and running, it may compromise your webinar experience. We recommend you take a moment now to close any open programs before we begin today's session. I'd now like to introduce Jackie Westlaken, who will be speaking about the Public Relations and Communications Program at Fanshawe College. I'll be back again for the live Q&A, and I'm now going to pass it over to Jackie. She won't have video, but she will be on audio. Jackie, over to you. Thank you, Megan, and hello, everyone. Um, I do apologize for not having video and for the slight delay. There were some technical difficulties, but I do appreciate your patience. I wanted to give a little um, definition about public relations because I think sometimes people have a sense of what the term is, but really this summarizes what our program is about. So this definition is according to the Canadian Public Relations Society of Canada. And public relations is the strategic management of relationships between an organization and its diverse publics through the use of communication in order to achieve mutual understanding, realize organizational goals, and serve the public interest. So it's really about relationships, and it's about relationships within an organization and between an organization and a number of audiences. And the programs within the, pub, sorry, the courses within the public relations and corporate communications program um, really build on that idea of how to best communicate, build, and maintain relationships. So again, my name is Jackie Westlaken, and I am the program coordinator for this program, as well as a new one launching in January. And it's my pleasure to walk you through um, a bit about an uh, orientation to what is involved in the public relations and corporate communications program here at Fanshawe College. Another thing I wanted to, again, clarify is what's the difference between marketing and advertising and PR? Because while they, the lines are blurring and blending more and more, there are some significant differences. So marketing and advertising is about paid media, so you pay to buy ads. PR is about earned media, so building relationships with the media so that they cover the story that you're pitch pitching and that they're interested, they, you've built relationships with them, so they come to you um, when they are writing articles about whatever your industry uh, may be involved in. Um, marketing and advertising is about a product or a line of products, where PR is really about managing an organization's reputation and image. While marketing and advertising has customers and you're selling to those customers, we have public, so a variety of audiences that are stakeholders and interested in and affect the, the organization. And marketing and advertising, you look at sales and return on investment and contribution to the bottom line. And public relations is again about relationship management and image management. And that's really um, some key distinguishing factors about uh, what sets the two apart. So what's involved in PR? So if you wanted to work in PR and corporate communications, what sorts of things would you look at? Well, internal and external communications are certainly very um, strong in that. I, I alluded earlier to media relations, working on social media campaigns, or even just the day-to-day -day social media um, audience and customer engagement um, often falls to the PR and communications person. Uh, you've probably heard of and are familiar with the corporate social responsibility initiatives and community relations, which also often fall under the umbrella of public relations. And investor relations is also an important PR role. 
Um, other things I've mentioned, again, reputation brand management, doing special events for an organization, uh, crisis communication, public affairs, government relations, healthcare, sports and entertainment. They all have this um, public relations aspect to it where you're communicating on behalf of an organization with a number of different groups and audiences. In terms of our particular program, it is a intense uh, eight months. Uh, for sure. So in the first term, you have eight courses, and that roughly works out to be two courses per day uh, for your class schedule. And what I really like about our program, and I'm proud of our program, is the, the variety that we offer. Um, not in terms of choice, but in terms of areas of study. So you don't have any electives, unfortunately. But you do have, um, you'll see that we teach the overall, you know, strategic public relations and there's a writing course. We have a course on, to help you refine your presentation skills. Um, and then we have some more tech side um, courses in terms of design principle and digital in design principles, sorry, in digital media, where you're learning uh, Adobe Creative Suite. Uh, there's a course in professional practice and ethics, which gets uh, you sort of used to thinking and prepares you for your field placement in the second semester. And, um, and then the next three courses, again, it's more of that technical side. Uh, so trends in tech and PR, you'd be doing social media audits and building social media strategies. Uh, digital communication and web design is understanding user experience and how you can um, send digital marketing campaigns. Uh, and then the final one is visual communication and design, where again, you're looking at video editing and photography. So really there's this nice blend of the strategy, the hard technical skills and the soft skills. And I really think that the, these eight courses then prepare you really nicely to go into your field placement in the second term. So while you have fewer courses in your second term, it is just as busy. Um, so, and some of these you'll see they're courses with a two. So design principles two and writing for PR two, they're extensions of the first semester courses. So you're learning more about Adobe, um, Photoshop and InDesign. Um, and you're, you know, looking at other um, types of writing projects that you would be doing in the field. Uh, integrated marketing communications is another course where we're again really looking at how marketing and PR work together and how it's important to have that integrated approach. Um, specializations in PR looks at all the different, uh, not, it's not an exhaustive list, but it is an extensive list of different specialties you can have in PR. So for example, investor relations or fundraising and fund development, working in nonprofit, um, doing community relations. So we look at a new, um, specialization each week and and learn about the, all of the different possibilities uh, that comes with working in public relations and communications. And then of course you have your field placement. So in the second semester you have these courses, um, two on a Monday, two on a Tuesday, and then the writing for PR is always online regardless of whether if we're in COVID or not. Um, and then your field placement is Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And that's for the duration of a semester, which really allows you to um, start with an organization in, for example, January, and perhaps be at the outset of some sort of communication, a project, a special event, and be able to see it through until the end of your uh, placement, which is the end of April. Uh, for those who are starting in our January intake, the placements run from May to August, but that same thing um, where it gives you this sense of duration uh, throughout uh, a working experience. A couple more things about the field placement. It is 224 hours, uh, which is one of the top three, it's third longest in all of the um, PR programs in Ontario, last I checked, which is I think last year. I don't think there's been any significant changes in that respect. Um, as I said, second semester, and they take place Wednesdays to Fridays. Uh, for another difference 
what sets our program apart from others is the idea that I work with the students to help find the placements. With other ones there, um, and they say directly on their website, you know, students must find their own placement. I reach out to my community of contacts, my professional network, and um, the, the term before placements begin. And I set up the, the placements and the opportunities and then post them to the students to see and then if you were in our program you would then apply to those placements that interested you with a resume and cover letter and you interview and then they choose the best fit so it, it mimics the, um, the the quote unquote real world in that respect uh, but you are definitely supported in terms of finding your own placement and the other thing is if you do have connections in the industry uh, you are invited to find your own placement it's just subject to approval and um, that's just to ensure um, I do some due diligence to make sure you get a, a really good placement experience what will it look like next term and in this summer well it will there we are online still in January and um, it, that's a combination of synchronous and asynchronous learning most of the courses do um, request students to be engaged in online and participating, but that's not to say that it's for three hours um, with the, the normal duration of the course when it's in class. So we may check in for an hour, um, talk about something, and then have you go do something offline. Uh, so it's not like you're basically you know, in a virtual classroom for 24 hours for the first semester. I've also asked all of our faculty to be recording their classes and posting. So if, for example, you can't attend a particular class, you'll be able to go back and view that recording. And our faculty, and especially as, as a coordinator, I've been asked to have one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings and, and virtual office hours. And really with this online, um, experience i think it's easier for students to connect with our part-time faculty simply because they can you can book a meeting with them at you know their convenience when they have some time you know at work and it's much easier than again when we're on campus and they're they're rushing to go back to work so i think that's one of the benefits that we've seen we do bring in a lot of guest speakers who are working in the industry to be able to talk to you about their particular specialty and what's going on in their business. And um, there are lots of opportunities for team and community projects. So you're getting where, wherever possible real world experience. One of the things that you I'm sure are interested in is, well, where can I work? What kind of jobs, what kind of sector? And I just wanted to give, you know, an example of this is, I know it's a very text heavy uh, slide here, um, but I want to call your attention to the bold. So we have grads who are working in education, they're working for digital agencies, nonprofits, major corporations across Canada. Uh, they work in arts and entertainment, healthcare, government, and uh, in sports. So, I mean, I'm very proud of the, all of the names listed here. And um, I just want you to see, hopefully, from this presentation, the the potential and, and the vast dip and the variety of opportunities that come with a graduate certificate in public relations. So here are a couple of our uh, grads, and this is just to give you a sense of their job title and where they're working. So again, London Hydro, Ivy Publishing at Western, Fanshawe College, um, and, and some of the jobs, the titles, the communications consultant, marketing officer, account manager. So again, the variety is just incredible. Um, again, some more grads. So you see Make-A-Wish, so nonprofit, an insurance company, Canada Life, um, and, and the, the variety of the, the job titles. I also thought it was important to let you know that grads get jobs even in a pandemic. So these are students who graduated in April and August, and um, just the number that I could nicely fit on a slide. The other thing that this, the purpose of this slide is, so you can see that they, they did a placement, but only one of these um, eight students actually got 
a job at the end of their placement at their placement at their at their host organization so it's really important that the placement experience is to get you just that to get you experience it won't necessarily end in a full-time job sometimes it does but it gives you lots of skills and builds a portfolio that you can then use to get another job so this is just here for fun but 10 signs you should work in pr so you like coffee you're up to date on trends you like you know checking social media know what's going on you might be an early adopter you like a busy um, schedule and lifestyle you love writing and you are very organized organization is key especially with meeting all sorts of deadlines um, more of the signs that you should work in pr again you you love social media you value relationships which is essential um, you're ethical trustworthy you can work on teams and you're not afraid to push the envelope to try new things that being said we do have some students who they are social media savvy but don't want to be doing posts for an organization and that's fine that as you can see there's lots of different roles and opportunities um, within the field of pr so Fanshawe has relatively small class sizes. So about, the, we have 25 students uh, this term. There are 34 in the last. Uh, like I said, our grads get jobs. Your faculty are working in the field. You have two full-time faculty members dedicated to the program, and the rest are professionals working in the field. So you have the placement and lots of community-based projects. We have a mentoring program as well. Uh, you join, we have over a thousand and I think of over 1,030 now grads of the program. So that's a pretty great network to be a part of as well. And people are always willing to talk to you about uh, their experience in the program. There are awards and bursaries just for um, students in the PR program. You get an IABC London membership, which is a professional association, and you build your professional portfolio. And these are um, my program ambassadors. So they graduated all. Um, in 2019 now, and they're all working full-time in the field, but they have volunteered to stay on as my ambassadors. So if you have questions, if you wanna to talk to a student about their experience, you are more than welcome to connect with me and I will connect you to one of them. And uh, they can talk to you about their you know, undergrad, their, their experience in the program and what they're doing now. So we'd like to invite you now to ask any questions of me and I'd be happy to answer them. That's great. Thank you so much, Jackie, for providing such insightful information on your program here at Fanshawe. So we're going to move to the live Q&A now. Uh, if you would like to ask a question, please submit it with the questions feature. To open the questions feature, click on the question mark. We do have some questions in the queue and we will do our best to uh, get through all of your submitted questions within the session time. But if you have any questions after the session, we recommend you email myfuture at fanshawc.ca or book an appointment with one of our Fanshawe College recruiters. So one of the questions that has come in is when does the program run and when should we apply by? We have two intakes for our program. So there is a September intake and a January intake. Um, I always say the earlier the better in terms of the application. Um, I do know that our January intake is still open and accepting um, applications. And of course, the, for fall 2021 is open as well. Excellent. Um, so what is a typical schedule like for the week? Uh, because of the nature of our part-time faculty, and we, we do schedule around their availability because they're the subject matter experts, uh, we often have students, or sorry, classes and courses in the afternoons and evenings. Uh, so there aren't a lot of 8 a.m. classes, which is good, but you generally would have two classes a day um, and probably one in the afternoon and one in the evenings. And that's for so 24 hours a week, and that's for our program runs 14 weeks each term. Excellent. Um, the next question, what are the academic and professional requirements for the program? It's a great question. So this is a graduate certificate program. So you have to have an undergrad, which is a two-year diploma or a three-year advanced diploma or university degree, or um, 
life experience, work experience, which is a minimum of seven years. And then you have to apply and we have to re review that. Uh, as far as undergrad in what, it really um, varies. We have students with communications backgrounds. We have students with political science backgrounds. Um, we've had students with uh, actual science and environmental backgrounds, social justice and peace studies, um, English, arts majors, psychology, sociology, political science, it, it doesn't, it, and there isn't one, I guess that's what I really wanna drive home, is there isn't one program that's better than another or that sets you up better. The The skills that you need to be successful are the, the writing skills and the time management skills. Excellent. Um, are there midterm and final exams for this program? There's midterm grading and you'll have some quizzes, but there are no final exams in this program. I, the, my philosophy, and thankfully your profs have um, adapted this, I, we have quizzes, uh, but the majority of the projects are things that you should be able to be, they're practical, hands-on, and demonstrate your knowledge and go into your por professional portfolio. So you can show employers what you've, what you've studied, what you've accomplished. Perfect. Excellent. Um, we are coming close to the end of our time. So I think maybe I will just ask one more question of you, Jackie, that has come through. Uh, if anyone who's attending today wants to connect with you or the other coordinators, uh, what is the best way for them to do that? Absolutely. So here is my email address. It's also um, on Fanshawe's program website that you can connect with me. Uh, and I'm happy to answer questions. Um, I do uh, answer questions for new grads on a weekly basis. So it's jwestlake at fanshawe.ca. And I usually get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Perfect. And um, people can contact you through your email if they want to connect with the program ambassadors as well? Absolutely, yes. I will connect you with them then. You just have to let me know in the email. Perfect. That's great. Well, uh, so we have reached the end of our session. Thank you so much to all of our students who submitted questions. We hope that we answered all of your questions in regards to public relations and corporate communications. If you do think of any more questions, please connect with our Fanshawe College recruitment team by email at myfuture at fanshawe.ca or by booking a one-on-one -on -one appointment with them at fanshawe.ca slash connect. Don't forget to watch your email as we'll be sending you some details about our open house activity this Saturday. Thank you so much, Jackie, for taking the time today to speak with us about your program at Fanshawe College. And enjoy the rest of open house, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Megan. Thanks, everyone.